Hi, this is Fatima. I'm going to present the workshop regarding to four light five state traffic light system. Okay, what are traffic lights? They are finite state machines, which means that they are limited to a defined set of states. So for the typical traffic light, there are going to be three possible states, which are green, amber, or yellow, and red. Each of these lights have strictly timed intervals. So the workshop details are regarding to be an intersection in downtown Toronto which needs to be upgraded to a four light five state system from a three light three state system. So the time interval for its lights are written in here but we need to figure out the time interval for red, which I'm going to tell you how. Okay, so as you can see, the times are written in front of the lights, except for the red. And we understand that for the red light, the time interval is going to be the sum of all the other time intervals for all the other lights, which is going to be 10 plus 40 plus 15 plus 5, which will result in... 70. As you can see, it's written with purple in here. Okay, so in this workshop, we're going to consider an interruption, and we don't care about the reason of that, but the thing that we care is the result of the interruption. So the result is going to be either turning off for the system or resetting. Okay. We should also consider sensor and pedestrians as well as interruption. So for the sensor one, we have to see how many cars are waiting. If there are six cars or more, we have to apply it to the red light time interval and reduce it to 25 seconds. And, we have, and if we have pedestrians requesting to walk button, Again, we have to apply it to red light and reduce its time to 25 seconds. The system is going to work according to three logics and we are going to have a combined one which is uh, the combination of all the other three logics. So for the first one, we are going to define three lights, red, green and amber system and then for the logic two, we are defining a green and red light system with pedestrians requesting to walk button and the car sensor. And the third logic is about defining a red-green system having an interruption. Okay, so I'm going to go through um, the logics. We have both pseudocodes and flowcharts for each of them. Okay, so for logic one, you're going to start and put an integer value called keep going and have it as one. So we have a question here. If the keep going equals to one, we are going to lead to step four and the cycle of the traffic light system with red, amber and green lights is going to start. And if not, we'll go to step 15, which is the end of the cycle. So continuing step four, we're going to have the cycle starting from green and then um, staying green for 60 seconds, turning off, returning to amber light for 10 seconds, and then having red light. And as I said, it's going to last for 7 seconds and after turning off, the cycle is going to repeat and actually end. Alright, so this is the logic 1 and after that we're going to go through logic 2, which is here. We are going to start and then define a red-green light system. We are going to have green light for 60 seconds and then we are going to consider the sensor. Okay, so the sensor is uh, responding to six cars or more. So we are asking whether we have six cars or more waiting and if the answer is yes, then the, the time wait for red light is going to be um, deducted to 25 seconds and after that 
we are going to have the end of the cycle in step 8, and if not, we'll go through step 6. We are going to check whether pedestrians has requested to um, press walk button, and if they need to actually cross the street. And if the answer is yes, we're going to go to step 5, which is, again, reducing the time uh, for a red light to 25 seconds. And if not, we're going to turn on the red light and keep it for 50, for 50 seconds. Okay. Logic 3, we're going to again start and then define a red green light system. In this logic, we're going to consider an interruption. So before that, the cycle works normally with a defined time limit and it's actually going to work according to time um, intervals written here and um, according to logic 1 um, process, just in step 3. After that, we're going to check whether we have an interruption. If the answer is yes, we're going to go to step 5, which is asking the result of the interruption. And if not, we're going to lead to step 7 and the uh, cycle is going to reset and start again and we're going to go back to step 3. So if the answer for the interruption question is yes, going through step 5, we're going to answer what the result is, which can be either turning off for the system or resetting. If the answer is A, we're going to go to step 6, which is the end of the cycle. And if it's not, if it's about resetting, which is item B, we are going to go to step 7, and the uh, system is going to reset. Alright, so now we're going to go through the flowcharts. So in here we have four loops, starting from here, we have the... In this rectangular white thing, we have this defined, we have the time intervals, we have the keep going with one and all the details in here. And then in here, we have the initializations for the flags. And starting from here, as you can see, in all of them, we are checking interruption. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Checking the interruption flag. If the answer is no, we are going to check whether we have uh, green time left. And if the answer is no, we are going to go through the direction of the arrows showing and again lead to the other part, again asking the interruption. And if the answer is yes, we are going to check the interruption flag again. Having the answer yes, we are going to face a break and again lead to the uh, same direction. And having the answer no, we are going to show the green for one second and after that end of this cycle. And again, we are going to lead to this part. So the second one is about, um, again, checking the interruption flag. If the answer is yes, we are going to go, we are going to go through this part and if it's not, we are going to check uh, the green time left, and after that, having the answer yes, it means we have time left for green time, and then we have to check the interruption flag. If it's yes, we're going to face a break, again going through the direction that the arrow shows, and then if the answer is no, we're going to show the green-yellow lights for one second, having uh, this part, we're going to lead it to this section again and going through this part again checking the interruption flag and in here um, if the answer is no we are going to go here if the C flag is 1 we are going to go to this part and um, which is checking whether uh, there is green time left again checking the interruption and for having no we are going to show the green light for one second and in here the difference is in here we are going to check the pet flag if it's true or not which is about the pedestrians having uh, pressed the uh, walk button 
and then uh, we have shift which is green minus i and we have to set i to 25 seconds which means that if we have pedestrians pressing the walk button we have to reduce the green uh, sorry the red light to 25 seconds if not we're going to again go through here checking the interruption flag and this time we have uh, the yellow um, light flashing you have to check whether there is uh, time left for our yellow lights and after that if it's yes we're going to check the interruption flag if yes we're facing break again going through the direction that arrow shows and if not you have to show the yellow for one second going through this part we're going to um, get information about the red lights and first of all again che checking the interruption flag having it having the P flag as one we're going to go through um, the question asking about the red time left if it's yes we are going to go through the arrows and if it's no we are going to go to the interruption check having it yes again we have break and then go through the arrows and having it no we have to show the red light for one second and check if there is, the car flag is active and uh, if it's not used yet we are going to have either yes or no having it no it's the end of this part and again it goes to um, the start of the cycle and uh, having it yes we are going to have shift as red minus i and i is 25 which means that um, this is about the sensor and whether we have six cars or more and the sensor is on and activated we are going to reduce the red time to 25 seconds as it's shown in here and as you can see the section is and the structure is uh, made in a way that the cycle is going to reset or um, turn off so the possibility of recycling is uh, shown in here it's possible but it's uh, the thing that matters is the result of the interruption which will lead to either uh, having uh, having the system turned off or reset thank you for your attention I hope you all understand this work